beloved pet killed, another on the equivalent of doggy death row. But will DNA evidence exonerate a dog? Two heartbroken families and a legal battle over which animal is responsible for killing a 10-year-old Pomeranian in its own backyard. Well, the court says it's the next-door neighbor's dog, but his family is trying DNA testing to prove that their Belgian Malinois is innocent. Let's get to Mara McDonald. She joins us now. I hope I pronounced that right, Mara, but everyone is pretty upset here. Carmen, you sure did. And here's the situation. You've got neighbors who've lived next to each other for decades who now may both end up with their animals being killed. This is the story of Vlad and Jeb. It was the most ter horrifying, terrifying day of my life. If anybody has a small animal, to see their animal killed, killed like that. Vlad was a small Pomeranian in his backyard sunning himself. Chris Sawa didn't see the attack on his beloved pup, but what he did see was Jeb. The next door neighbor's Belgian Malinois standing over Vlad's lifeless body. The Pomeranian had multiple bite marks and cracked bones. He was dead. I want my dog back. Is what I hope here. Sawa called Animal Control, who came and demanded that Pam and Ken Job turn him over, even though Jeb had no blood on him. He's been at Animal Control ever since this happened in August, and a judge has ordered he be destroyed. The Jobs don't believe Jeb's at fault. It's not fair. Jeb has more than 200 hours of training as a service dog for Ken Job. He was patient and sweet to everything from the bunny and the rest of the animals on their property to the disabled children who visit their home. He didn't do it. The Jobs are hoping DNA testing will prove it. They're paying thousands of dollars to have Vlad's body swabbed to see if Jeb's DNA is in the bite marks. The Sawas are brokenhearted from the whole ordeal and say the testing just delays any sort of closure. And under no circumstances do they want Jeb back in the neighborhood. I feel that without a doubt it was the neighbor's dog. That's all, that's all I can say. Back here alive, the Sawas have one remaining Pomeranian. They fear for its life if Jeb comes back to the neighborhood. Meanwhile, the Jobs say, listen, we live in rural St. Clair County. This could easily have been a coyote uh, or even potentially a fox. I guess we're going to have to wait and see what the DNA testing shows. We're in St. Clair County. Mara McDonald, Carmen and Devin, back to you.